Today on unboxing, we're going to open two packages just for you. So let's dive right into it. Today on unboxing. Hi, welcome to a new episode of Unboxing. Well, it's night now. So, tonight we're going to open two packages just for you. But, but I promise that it's not going to be DVD, Blu-ray, uh, VHS, or 4K. No. Well, in this package, just are other things. But what kind of things are inside these packages? And well, also, what's the story behind the package and the items that's inside? So, further on, do let's open. The first package. Well, this this is the uh, first package, and uh, well, it's from eBay. You can see there, yeah, eBay in red, blue, yellow, and green. So let's open the package and see what's inside. I got my scissors, so let's cut this package open. And um, well, inside inside the package, it's some plastic. Plastic, you see. Well, 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 well the items in is inside the plastic so let's remove the plastic and see what's inside well, well and i need my scissors again so let's cut this uh, plastic open and we'll see what's inside and inside the plastic is yeah well you probably remember this guy it, well if you don't i well i i probably will tell you Did, well this guy here who are inside this package uh is from a tv show that uh, came out in the 80s uh, like 1983 they released this tv show and and also it lasted for two seasons and uh, 130 episodes and uh, in uh, those two seasons there were 65 episodes a season and well this uh, uh, character here is from the tv show called he-man and the masters of the universe well if, if if you don't know about that tv show you probably are born in the 90s so well in the beginning of the 90s they released a new tv show called he-man and the masters of the universe but well but that show was a little different because it's uh has hasn't got uh, orko man at arms tila and cringer and battle cat no they didn't he-man 
and his new friends in another dimension or world. But Skeletor, he was there. So, uh, well, that, that show who came out in the 90s wasn't good. No. I, well, I watched it on RTL, uh, a German channel back in the 90s well it the uh, the tv show he-man and the masters of the universe back then wasn't good, any good at all so 2000 in the 2000 they were released a new tv show of he-man and the masters of the universe called he-man origins yeah well, the design were almost like the 80s uh, TV show. But, well, He-Man he wasn't a grown-up, no. He was a kid. And, I, well, I, I watched the, uh, the TV show, the cartoon, on YouTube for a few years back. And, uh, well, I didn't like it, no. So, well, my favorite TV show of He-Man and the Masters of the Universe is from the 80s. Yeah. I grew up with He-Man back then. And, uh, well, also, uh, a couple of years later, it was released a new TV show called uh, She-Ra. The Princess of Power. Well, it, it it lasted for two whole seasons with 130 episodes. Um, well, Shira is He-Man or Prince Adam's twin sister. And uh, to uh, uh, combine those two TV shows, there, well, there, there was a movie that came out called The Secret of the Sword. And, well, actually, it were five parts. But the, the creators who created She-Ra, the Princess of Power, well, wanted those five parts to be a movie instead of five parts. So they combined all the five parts to a movie and they call it secret the secret of the sword and well then uh, you see prince adam and himan they uh, travel to an another dimension with a sword because the sorceress told prince adam that he have to go to that dimension and give the sword to a person in that dimension. Well, ca ca can you guess who that person is? Who get this sword? Yeah. Well, you have to watch He-Man and the Secret of the Sword. And also, there's another per uh, person in there also. A girl, a woman in there. Well, if you have seen the movie, you probably know which person I talk about. But uh, if, well, if, if you don't seen the movie yet, you have a long journey to go. So, um, uh, well, The Secret of the Sword is a great cartoon. Lo lots of uh, action scenes, lots, lots of adventures, and it's very exciting to watch. And it, it's also a good story. Yeah, the movie are very good. Be because I've seen it many times. So, um... And also, well, opening of the TV show He-Man 
he takes the sword out and says, by the power of Grayskull. And then, lightning, thunder. <laughs> and then, Prince Adam changed into another guy. Yeah, that's right. He-Man. And also, well, in uh, this opening intro, you see that when He-Man shows up, he says, I have the power, and he turned the sword down. And then a cat named Cringer. Yeah, that, well, that is Prince Adam's best friend. Because when Prince Adam was young, young kid, he saved this cat from danger. And uh, then this cat becomes Prince Adam's friend. So Prince Adam called him Cringer, and they live together in this castle with his mom, who is from Earth. Yeah, his mom is from Earth. And uh, she traveled in a spaceship for many years ago and crash landed on this planet. And uh, then, a uh, while after she crash landed and you know then she got to know this man that she married and also become prince adam's father but they well they they have two babies but where is the other baby and what happened to it so you you have to watch the movie called the secret of the sword to find out what really happened to the other baby yeah the well the answer is in that movie yeah well back to cringer he well he grows up with the prince adam and then one day prince adam get this sword this magical sword from a sorceress well that turns into um a bird or uh, an eagle if you will and um well er every time prince adam takes the swords up and said by the power of grayskull you know that there were lightning and thunder. <coughs> Sorry. Um, and then a new guy up here. That's He-Man. He-Man takes his uh, sword and said, I have the power. And then he takes the swords down. And pointed at the cat. You know, Cringe. And then you say, then you see thundering and lightning all around and then a new cat appeared yeah that's right battle cat you know battle cat is a tough brave cat and helps he-man fight the forces of skeletor and uh, well, Cr Cringer, well, he's brave too in his own way, but he is scared of everything. So he comes up with uh, any excuse to um, uh, to um, leave because, well, ev well, every time. That Prince Adam says, "We well, we got some work to do now, so we have to go and change." So every time Prince comes with any excuse to, um, you know. So um, that's well, that that that's the half of the story of this guy. Here. But 
So let's um, open the second package. Maybe we're going to have a continuation of the first package. Wait and see. Hi, it's me again from the future. Well, I, I want to tell you about a movie that came out in, an, in 1987. They released a live action movie of He-Man and the Masters of the Universe with Dolph Lundgren as Prince Adam and He-Man. So, uh, um, and this movie has, well, lo lots of action, entertainment, adventures, well, bad guys, but it, well, it were something missing from this movie. Well, you, you remember that He-Man has um, a cat named Battle Cat. And uh, Prince Adam has a cat named Cranger. Well, you, you don't see them in this movie. And well, also they have in the cartoon, uh, well, a, a creature, a, you know, a sorcerer uh, named Orko. Yeah with a huge O on his chest. Well, well, he's not in this movie either. No. And, uh, well, Prince Adam, you know, Prince Adam, the Prince of Eternia. Well, he's not in this movie either. No. You, well, you, you see He-Man, you see Tila, Man at Arms, Evelyn, Skeletor, Beastman, and other bad guys that Skeletor have. So, well, this movie is that He Man and his friends they uh, travel to another world. And, well, in, in this world, they got to know two people. Well, this this girl who plays in this movie plays also in the TV show Friends. Yeah, you you probably remember her, Country Cox, Country Cox, who played Monica in uh, the TV show Friends in the nineties. Well, she she played one in one part in this movie, and uh, well, also this guy. Who played in Star Trek? Yeah, well, you, you, you remember the um, well, the one who played in Star Trek Voyager, T Tom Parrish. Yeah, well, he's in this movie too. So, uh, well, these these two and their friends and families are humans from the planet Earth. So, Heman, Tila. Man at Arms, and this uh, creature. Well, I don't re remember that creature's name, but they have a key, a magical key that the uh, Skeletor wants, because it's two. There are two keys. One of them uh, Skeletor got, and the other He-Man and his friends got. So, uh, well, Skeletor didn't know where He-Man and Tila and their friends are until, you know, Tom Paris, the guy who plays Tom Paris in Star Trek Voyager, and his girlfriend, they got the key. So, uh, Tom Paris, he is a music musician, and... Um, He's curious about this uh, key, but he don't know that it is a key. No, he just uh, thinks that it's a instrument, a musical instrument. So he uh, push some buttons, 
and then something happened. And on Internia, Skeletor and his friends are tracking down a signal. And then, oh, they're, they're on a planet called Earth. So Evelyn takes some soldiers and go there. And then, you know what happened? If you don't, you probably have to see that movie to find out. Because, well, I, well, I, my opinion is that, well, this movie is a good movie, but it has some things that are missing from this movie. But I think this is a good action movie anyway. But uh, they, well, they, there are some characters that's missing. So if you have seen the cartoon in the 80s, you know which characters are missing. So, uh, well, D uh, D Dolph Lundgren played also in Rocky with Sylvester Stallone and The Expandables who, well, who uh, comes out in 2000. He played with uh, Sylvester Stallone in there, in those movies. And also, he started in one of the sequels of Rocky called Creed. And, well, in the movie Creed, it, well, it's about Apollo, you know, Apollo Creed from Rocky. He died in one of the Rocky movies when uh, he has uh, a kid, a couple of children. And uh, the boy, well, the boy grows up without a father and uh, get interested in uh, boxing. So he asked Rocky to train him. And uh, in one of those movies, there, well, there are two movies that called Creed. In one of those two movies, you see Dolph Lundgren reprising himself as the Russian. Yeah, you know, he played Russian in uh, Rocky. Um. Well, if well, if if you didn't know, Dolph Lundgren is from another country also yeah you didn't know that did you well he's swedish yeah he's from sweden but uh he um um you know he plays in english and uh, american movies so uh well he's well he's a great actor and uh, i well i have seen uh, some of his work and uh, movies like uh, He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, Rocky, The Expandables, Creed, um, and other movies that I can't remember. And well, also he plays in uh, Universal Soldiers with uh, another actor who, who also played in one of the Expandables movies. You probably remember Sean claude Van Damme, yeah. So, uh, well, Do Dolph Lundgren plays in two movies with Sean claude Van Damme. One of them is Universal Soldiers, and the second is Expandables. Yeah. So now you know. So, um, back to He-Man. Well, in, well, in He-Man, you see the sorcerers are captured by Skeletor. And also, um, the castle, you know, the Grayskull, is also captured because Skeletor and his friends are taking over. So they're putting the sorceress inside a force field to drain her powers. And, uh, well, they're, they're all... There's up to He-Man and his friends to save the sorceress and 
grayscope and the Eternia for that matter. And well, and well, also the story about this girl, you know, Country Cox from TV show Friends. Uh, her well, her her parents died in an accident. So, um, what's gonna happen next? And well, Duke uh, Skeletor get the key, and well. Will Skeletor also destroy the planet Earth? So what's going to happen next? You're going to find out if you watch He-Man and the Masters of the Universe with Dolph Lundgren. Yeah. So now, you know, and uh, also I'm going to... Uh, well, I'm going to set uh, you over to uh, one of uh, my future selves in the past. So, uh, over to you, Kenneth, in the past. Yeah, well, this, this is a huge package. Well, it's a box. So, let's check it out. And see what's inside. It's a little difficult because it's uh, have plastic around it. So I have to cut it like so. And then you open it. Need my scissors to to cut it some more because it's well it's um a uh, they they put some uh, papers paper around the, this box so uh, see well this is the box and this is the paper around it so uh let's Take the paper off and uh, see. Well, see what's inside. So, well, this this is a huge box. Priority mail. So let's uh, open this box and uh, let's uh, check it out. What's inside? <sighs> it, well, it's a little difficult to open this box. So, uh, well, it has a little tape on it. So, uh, let's. Cut the tape open like so. Let's, yeah, let's take this box apart. Oh, you see, it's some uh, plastic protection. So, well, let's open it. And I see what's inside. And well, inside it's yeah. Well, for first you see this dude, this guy, and then he takes his sword out and say, "By the power of Grayskull." And then you remember lightning and thunder. And then you change into this guy. And this, well, this guy says, I have the power. And turn the sword on the side. And then you see Cringer. Yeah, becomes 
battle cat. But, well, that's another story that I'm going to talk about later on in another video. What really happens to battle cat. So, well, this, well, these two, Prince Adam and He-Man, well, original uh, uh, fig figure from the original TV show back in the 80s. Yeah, no, 1983, the TV show was released. A great TV show that, well, that I remember because I saw it on Sky Channel. On, uh, well, on, on Fun Factory, who uh, were a program for uh, all, all kids of all ages, each Saturday and Sunday. Well, on su su Sunday, yeah, Sunday, it comes on on a rerun. Yeah. Well, new program comes on Saturday, and the program who comes then comes again on Sunday. So, well, if, if you missed it on Saturday, yeah, well, you, you can see it again on Sunday. That's a uh, fun factory. And also, I saw He-Man on DJ Cat Show. Yeah, well, you, you probably remember DJ Cat, like, this is the DJ Cat Show, and I am DJ Cat. That's cat with a D and a D and a J, so you better stick around, okay? Something like that. But not not really like that, but some. So this was the unboxing for today. And uh, this is the package I got. He-Man and Prince Adam of the original TV show back in the day. And... Um, well, that's it, and I hope to see you soon in a new video of unboxing, and also in a new video of Doctor Who reviews and more. Because in uh, Doctor Who reviews and more, uh, I'm going to talk about uh, Doctor Who, like uh, well, the the, the episodes, uh, the items. The DVD, Blu-ray, VHS, and other stuff that contains Doctor Who. So, I'll probably see you then. And um, thank you for watching. And thank you for seeing the entire video. So, bye.